Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. In this video, let's talk about the DJI 04 video transmission system. The 04 system is the one currently integrated into the DJI Avada 2, which released back in April of 2024, but has yet to be made available as a standalone product. Now, this decision by DJI has sparked interest and speculation among many drone hobbyists and professionals alike. In this video, let's discuss the reasons DJI might or might not release the system as a standalone or separately sold product. And let me be perfectly clear. These are my own personal opinions. I have not seen any rumors, leaks, or reputable publications indicating what DJI is or is not going to be doing with their O4 transmission system. Just want to get that out of the way. And I don't have any insider information on this topic. This is just me giving you my two cents on the topic and simply having the conversation. So with that out of the way, I've searched the internet and there's just no reputable sources with any insight on what DJI actually plans to do here. So first I'm gonna give you some reasons DJI could sell the DJI 04 system as a standalone product and then a few reasons DJI may not sell the O4 system as a standalone product. And finally, a few of my own personal thoughts on the topic and factors that may be influencing DJI's decision on a final direction. So if this is something that you're interested in, keep on watching. And if it's not, no hard feelings. So the reason DJI might release the DJI O4 as a standalone product first, there's, of course, a market demand for it. There's a significant interest from the drone community in having access to high-quality video transmission systems for custom drone builds or upgrading existing drones. And, of course, the O4 system has very impressive specs, one of the best on the market today, including 1080p live view at various frame rates at 60 megabit per second max video transmission bit rate and a 13-kilometer max range making it a very desirable system for most folks. So let's be honest, it's the best of the best, and who doesn't want the best FPV video transmission system in their quad? I know I do. Okay, second reason, versatility and upgrades. Um, offering the O4 system as a standalone product would cater to a broader audience, including hobbyists and professionals looking to enhance their current drone setups. This flexibility can drive sales and foster a more robust ecosystem around the DJI products. Third, let's talk about technological advancement. The advanced features of the DJI O4 system, such as its low 24 millisecond video transmission latency and the inclusion of its one and one third inch CMOS sensor, make it a top tier product in this category. And releasing it separately could set a new industry standard and showcase DJI's commitment to innovation. Now, reasons DJI may not release the O4 system as a standalone product. First, product strategy. DJI might be using the exclusive integration of the O4 system into the Avada 2 as a selling point to boost sales to their newer or newest drones. And of course, by keeping the technology tied to the Avada 2 or some of their newer drones, DJI can ensure that customers opt for the entire package rather than just the transmission system. For example, the older O3 transmission system sells for $299 US on their website as of today, but the Avada 2 Fly More Combo package is gonna run you closer to $1,000 US. So again, perhaps DJI is looking at this from their profit margins standpoint. One more reason DJI may not offer the O4 system as a standalone product would be market saturation. DJI might be cautious about releasing the O4 system independently to avoid saturation of the market with too many similar products by strategically limiting its availability. DJI can maintain a premium image and control the product or the product's perceived value. Now, while DJI's O4 transmission system boasts impressive features and significant potential as a standalone product, DJI's current strategy appears to focus on leveraging its capabilities to promote the Avada 2. Now, whether DJI is eventually releasing the O4 system independently remains to be seen. However, the demand and potential benefits strongly suggest that it could be a wise move in the future, provided the company can address 
integration and market strategy concerns. Now, clearly from the comments I've seen in other YouTube videos, comments in the DJI forums, and just comments in general online, there's obviously a strong demand for this O4 system as a standalone product. So personally, I hope DJI releases the product as a standalone system, but the fact that we're far into the 2024 summer already and haven't seen or heard anything leaves me doubting if it will be coming anytime this summer. Perhaps DJI is just dealing with bigger fish right now with things like the U.S. Congress trying to ban DJI drones in their market. Or perhaps DJI is focused more with some of their other newer products like their new e-bike system they just developed. Or perhaps they don't want their newest and best O4 system being used for FPV drones for military use, things like the Russian-Ukraine war. Of course, that's bad PR, and I'm sure they want to avoid that as much as possible. So if you have any thoughts on this topic, I'd love to hear from you. That's it for this video. I wish I had some answers, but I'm in the dark just as much as you are. If you have a solid leak or information, I'd love to hear from you. Again, just drop it in the comments. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.